Hey everybody! As a business owner, you might deal with international customers or vendors. For example, let's say your business is based in India, but you have customers and vendors in the USA who want to pay in USD dollars, that is, their local currency. In such cases, Soho Books lets you send invoices, record expenses, and manage transactions in their currency. In this video, we will cover the following topics and see how you can manage them. As the first step, you will have to associate your customers' and vendors' respective transaction currencies while adding them to your organization. Let's see how you can do it for customers. Log into Soho Books. Go to the Customers module and click the Create icon next to it. Enter the customer name and their contact details. For the purpose of this video, let's create a profile for a customer based in the USA. Scroll down, and here, you can select the customer's currency from the drop-down. If you don't find the customer's currency here, you can add their currency by clicking plus add new currency. After entering all the details, click save. The currency will be associated with the customer. Similarly, vendors can be associated with their respective transaction currencies. Next, let's create a transaction in the customer's local currency. Select the customer for whom you want to create a transaction in their local currency. Click New Transaction at the top right corner. For the purpose of this video, let's select Invoices. All the customer details will be auto-populated. Under the Item table, you can add the item details. Soho Books will automatically fetch exchange rates from this website openexchangerates.org and convert the item price to your customer's currency based on the currency exchange rate. Then, click Save and Send. Go ahead and click Send. That's it. You have created an invoice, and your customer will receive an invoice in their local currency. After they receive the invoice, they can either pay you online or you can record it manually offline. For offline payments, you can simply record the amount you have received in your customer's local currency. Click Record Payment. Enter the amount received, Payment Mode, Payment Date, and Deposit to Account. If the invoice payment is received on a different date than the invoice date, there will be a difference. As you can see, the exchange rate at the time of payment differs from the rate on the invoice date. Enter the rest of the details and click Record Payment. That's how you record an offline payment. After payment for the invoice is completed, Soho Books captures the exchange rate on the payment date and generates a journal under the payment receipt where you can view the exchange rate loss or gain. You can also go to the Realized Gain or Loss report and view the loss or gain of the respective invoice. If the payment is received via bank with automatic feeds, let's see how you can match and adjust transactions when exchange rates are involved. Note, before matching transactions from bank feeds with Soho Books, ensure you have manually recorded the payment in your organization like we did in the previous step. Go to the Banking module and select the bank account through which the payment was received. Then, select the statement that you want to match with Soho Books. All the possible matches will appear to your right. Note that the invoice amount varies based on the exchange rates on different dates. Once you select, the difference amount will be shown at the bottom. You can click plus create new transaction to adjust the amount. Select if it's a deposit amount or withdrawal amount. Here, since the amount the customer paid is more than the invoice amount generated, we'll select Deposits. Select the adjustment date, the account you want to track the transaction, and enter the deposited amount. And, click Save. Go ahead and click Match. The transactions will be matched, and you can view it under the All Transactions tab. There are cases where your customers may pay you partially or in full before the goods or services are delivered. This is called Customer Advance. To record a Customer Advance in Soho Books, go to the Payments Received module. Click the drop-down next to All Payments and select Customer Advance. Click Plus New at the top and navigate to the Customer Advance tab. 
Select the customer name and enter the advance amount received. The exchange rate will be automatically fetched. You can click the edit icon and modify it if you want. Then click save. You can also go to the customer's module and record advance for the respective customer. Click plus new transaction and click customer payment. Navigate to the customer advance tab to record the advance payment. Let's see how you can apply customer advance to invoices. You can directly go to the respective invoice or go to the payments received module and select the recorded customer advance you want to apply to invoices. Click apply to invoices. Enter the credits that you want to apply and click save. Soho Books captures the exchange rate on the payment date and generates a journal under the payment receipt where you can view the exchange rate loss or gain. There are cases where the total invoice amount paid would be less than the actual invoice amount and no further payment is expected. In such cases, the remaining balance can be written off to close the invoice. To do so, go to the partially paid invoice and click the drop down next to record payment and click write off. Enter the reason and click write off. Soho Books captures the exchange rate on the payment date and generates a journal under the payment receipt where you can view the exchange rate loss. The balance amount will be posted under bad debt. And that's how you can handle international payments in Soho Books with ease. Thanks for watching.